Hello. Well, since 2018 is a big circus year, I'm going to be vlogging a bit more of my activities. And this weekend, I went down to Circo Media in Bristol, which is one of the UK's two degree level circus schools. And I saw the devised show from this year's third years. It is so funny. It's a really tight show. And you often think that maybe student work won't live up to the professional realm. And that's not the case here. The photos maybe don't do it justice, but it, it was a really entertaining evening. See it if you can. Oh, oh, that's good lighting. And, uh, oh, there we go. Now I've got light on my face now. Oh, and this is uh, Catherine Booth. Yeah, yeah, Catherine Booth, who um, has not directed the third year uh, degree students show from Circa Media, which we've just watched, and I, that's why I've got this big grin on my face because I've been laughing my socks up. Um, but uh, they deposited themselves. Yeah, they did. So, do you want me to explain? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, so every year they have to make a show, but they undertake all of the company roles themselves as well. So. Uh, this year there were two directors who directed the overall shape of the show and then there were three directors of each of the ensemble bits which you saw at the beginning, the middle and the end and they do all of the lighting themselves, the sound and we as a staff team are just there to give them support when they need it and this group are, have been amazing, they've been totally independent and I've needed to do very little and my job is very easy. Yeah, I, I know it's not the way that the world works but I would love it if they just stayed together at this 15 because yeah, they would make an amazing... Yeah, so you have to pay more in your guarantees to make that happen. Okay? Oh, is that how it works? Well, you know, yeah, let's not talk about fees. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's a little tour. Yeah. Um, so, uh, where are they going? The Point in Italy. The Point in Italy and Arts Depot in London and the Roses in Tewksbury and Dada in Derby as well. So and then, great any chance for them to extend that? Uh, well, they're pretty busy actually. They're going on to their next module straight after this, which is practices research, and then they're going to be doing their final major project. So probably not now, but there's always opportunities to take stuff from this and, and make it more in the future. And like that. So, it's good. so the next day, I uh, head to the new circus training centre in Cardiff, which is Upside Down Circus which I have been going to because they have a permanently rigged tight wire, which is my favourite. Uh, so I get a little bit of a practice, um, drop-in sessions every Saturday um, with lots of activities going on at the same time. And, oh my gosh, handstands are hard, but I'm giving a go. <laughs> Watch this space. By the end of the year, I might have a bit more achievement. And then, on uh, the next day, Sunday, I'm on a coach up to London, uh, for a eccentric dance workshop with Max, Dorothy Max Pryor, who um, she also runs the Total Theatre magazine, but she's had a dance career. And yeah, eccentric dance is based on a lot of classic vaudeville steps, so um, it helps my giggle doctor work. So when I'm in children's hospitals being a bit silly, this is some of the techniques that I can use. And then I am off to the Barbican Centre for the final stop on my circus weekend. Right, so I am pretty exhausted. It was a lot of fun, but I'm aching also from my uh, handstand practice yesterday. So I am now going to go and sit in a nice warm dark room and try not to fall asleep while we watch Variety. It is a, a film of German black and white cinema. This was part of the London Mind Festival programme and I really had no idea that silent film could be so sophisticated. I've never really watched much before to excuse the dodgy footage from my camera. But I have overall had a really fun weekend so hopefully I'll update you more as the year goes on.